hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel returning subscribers welcome new subscribers welcome please don't forget to click that subscribe button because this video is going to be extremely helpful for you so this video is for fresh medical students people who have just entered into medical school i'm talking about when you've entered college of medicine you started doing your anatomy biochemistry and physiology you're now you've now moved to pre-med to actual medical school and so this video is very important for you i'm just giving you guys a list of tips that you guys are going to really benefit from so if you're interested in finding out all these things then you can just keep watching this video <laughs> I'm going to just start off with saying that where you're coming from and where you are right now are two different places entirely. You're dabbling with a different ballgame. This is a totally college of medicine is a totally different ballgame. Medical school is a very different ballgame from your pre-medical school years. And it's very important that you know specific things that would help you and aid you through that journey. A lot of us didn't know some of these things. We heard it well i just always wanted someone to be as specific as i'm going to be right now in telling you those things that you need so if you've been in medical school before or you've gone through med school you're a doctor and then you have some of these tips that you want to add to what i'm going to list right now you can just put that in the comment section for my fresh medical students viewers wow. the first thing i'm going to tell you guys is piggy bank on your seniors i'm going to say it again piggy bank on your seniors do not ever underestimate the importance of your seniors in your academics. Your seniors are your number one. You need your seniors. If you're someone that likes to stay on your own, that's fine. It's perfect to be alone. But you need to go and look for your seniors if you're going to survive med school. You need people that have done it before and will tell you how they did it. Exactly. Your direct seniors, especially your immediate seniors, are like, like you need to follow them get things from them, get books from them, get information from them, get materials from them. Having materials from your seniors would always give you an edge over the rest of your classmates. It's not just the same way you came from. You don't have any experience. You need your seniors. It helps in a lot of ways and it saves a lot of time. And procrastination is not your friend in medical school. As much as we're human, every human being procrastinates. I mean, I even have a short that talks about how students, I procrastinate as a medical student and sometimes I find myself procrastinating but then I'm just here to tell you that procrastination is not your friend. As you're entering medical school, try and start working on not procrastinating because it is going to mess with you. I don't think I need to go into details on how procrastination is going to affect you in med school but the workload is a whole lot. Anatomy is a whole lot on its own before you start going to biochemistry and physiology like those are the remaining two courses you're going to offer and so i'm going to tell you not to procrastinate because there's a lot to do so as much as possible try to do what you're meant to do when you're meant to do it try to limit the amount of time you procrastinate because it's going to help you to do better in med school the third thing you need to take very seriously is watching videos you guys i cannot emphasize this more than this like watch videos in my okay when i was in 200 level when i just started when i just entered college of medicine i didn't used to watch a lot of videos i started off with it i didn't really um i didn't really watch as much videos as i did in the next year after that and that's because of the fact that i also didn't need to talk to a lot of seniors and so um i used to speak to seniors in terms of the fact that i got information but not as much as i should have i should have done more talking to seniors i should have done more talking to seniors because if i had spoken more to my seniors i would have gotten there is this apparently there's this drive that um, there's this um i think um, a drive or so that has all the videos you possibly need in your anatomy it's different videos you need and because i wasn't talking to my seniors i wasn't talking to my classmates well enough i did not get these materials till when i was in 300 level so I said pathology and now got the one for pathology and now that one was even by incident that I found out. So like those videos really made a huge difference in my academics when I was in 300 level. I got a distinction in pathology in 300 level and I can say that it is largely due to the fact that I started watching videos because I figured out that I was reading without understanding before. I was just reading and then the workload is much. So reading without understanding isn't helping you. You need to understand at least a lot of what you're reading so that it sticks. You can't be cramming everything like i used to cram i never had a visual understanding of what i, I thought i did but i figured out that watching videos made everything 10 times easier i'll, I'll read a slide and watch a video and the slide will just stick 60 percent of the slide will stick because it's understood i'm not cramming it 
So it really made a difference in my results. I'm not even joking. It made a very huge difference in my results. You need to take one step at a time. In med school, there's a lot of work. I'm going to keep emphasizing the fact that there is a lot of work. And so you must not let the work overwhelm you. You're going to have a lot of exams, a lot of in-courses, a lot of tests, a lot of things you're always doing, you're always busy. And so you want to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed by these things because you can actually get depressed. Take one exam at a time, take one in-course at a time. So you will break down. You would actually break down. People have a lot of medical school breakdowns. I have had, I think, one, but I've not had any major breakdown. And that's because I keep trying to tell myself to take it one step at a time. Take one exam as it comes. Don't jam everything up together and start making it feel like you have the whole world on your shoulder because it can get like that sometimes, especially in 300 level. <laughs> People have had medical school breakdowns in 300 level because you think the truth matters that you're just entry. You can have the chance of having the breakdown. 300 level is another different ball game. You have that. And then final year too. People have a lot of breakdowns in their final year. I haven't got to my final year yet, so I can't give advice on that. But as, as you're entering, you need to learn to take one step at a time as you're going because you can break down. The next thing is for you to work smart and not necessarily hard. I'm not saying you should not work hard, I'm saying you should work smart in terms of you cannot read everything. See, let me tell you, you can't read everything. Common things occur commonly. You need to get the important things first. There are certain things that as a medical student, you must know. In 200 level, there are certain things that you must know. Brachial plexus, the axilla, you must know those things and so you need to learn those things first. Common things occur commonly. Ask your seniors, ask your, your ask your, not your friends, your friends, what do they know? Ask your seniors, what are the common things I need to know? It's not everything you need to read, the things you need to know, you need to know them first before you know any other extra thing. That's you working smart. So the next thing is... The next point is going to be in the part two of this video, so please watch out for part two. Or click the link above if it's already out. Please don't forget to subscribe. Forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful. And don't forget to share this video to whoever you think needs it. <laughs>